and officers of the Pan-American Health Organization met with senior government health officials and key stakeholders to discuss the state of the Zika virus here in Dominica and in the region. Dr. David Johnson, Dominica's chief medical officer, said that while Dominica has not had any recently reported cases of Zika, it is critical that the country stays vigilant in its efforts to fight the disease. Although, and I repeat, although we have not had any reported case of Zika for more than two months now, we still cannot drop the ball in terms of our response to Zika. We still need to continue actively monitoring and looking at the management of the few, few pregnant mothers who have been diagnosed of Zika. I am therefore pleased that the Pan American Health Organization is providing technical support and financial support to Dominica in finalizing our Zika response plan. Johnson stated that a goal of the stakeholder consultation was to finalize Dominica's plan in its response to Zika. He said that past efforts to control the virus included an extensive education campaign launched by the Ministry of Health, partnerships with key stakeholders such as solid waste management, and the engagement of political leaders in efforts to eradicate mosquito breeding sites. Johnson also said he was pleased that strides had been made in the development of a comprehensive preparedness and response plan, which he said is at a very advanced stage. Components of the plan include the surveillance, include sorry, surveillance and reporting, laboratory testing, risk communication, advice was given with regards to personal protection, environmental management to include source reduction and strategies for response to high, in high risk areas. And part of our plan included cl the clinical management of Zika in pregnancies and clinical management of cases of Guillain-Barre and other neurological complications. Jonathan thanked Paho for joining the Dominican stakeholders to finalize plans to fight Zika, which will also be useful in the prevention of other vector-borne diseases in the future. And also making the news headlines.